Good morning YouTube, welcome to the Reptile Barn. I wanted to do a sad and happy update. <laughs> I've got Big Dan here. He is our male uh, Dominican Red Mountain Boa. So uh, we had pretty high hopes that our female, his bride, was pregnant. Um, you know, they bred a ton at the right time of year. She eventually started to look really thick. She went off of food. Uh, was, uh, she started basking a little bit more than, than usual. She changed her behaviors, changed her look, you know. We were really hopeful. And <clears throat> so then about a month ago, she just kind of went back to normal. <laughs> started eating again, has been eating like normal. They've kind of stopped breeding. And I think that they're not pregnant, so we're probably not going to have baby Dominican Red Mountain Boas. Um, I, I'm at a loss. I don't know what we're doing wrong, um, or if, if there's some, you know, something wrong with them. I, I don't really know at this point. We've asked a lot of people who have experience with this species. I think we're doing things right, you know, our temperatures, feeding, all that kind of stuff I, I think is right. It's just not resulting in baby snakes, um, and that's okay. And the second part of this update is, I've had this kind of thought going in my mind. I'd like to do a couple of videos here soon, starting with these guys, of all of our reptiles who we just love them and are going to keep them as pets whether they breed for us or not, right? Um, you know, we've gotten... Pretty experienced with the ball pythons, we know what we're doing, we have a lot of success. We've gotten a lot of experience and success with the sailfin dragons, uh, the Philippine sailfin dragons. We've been trying to breed these Dominicans for five years and we've never gotten a litter of little baby boas. We've been trying to breed our black tree monitors for like four years and while I think we've gotten some eggs, we didn't realize it in time and the male ate them. We have some species that we work with that we have not had success with yet. And we have some species too that just aren't old enough to breed yet. So anyway, we're going to do some features on, on those animals that, in our collection that are either just pets and we, we intended them to be pets, or uh, animals that may just become only pets <laughs> because they refuse to breed for us. Starting with these Dominican Red Mountain Boas. Um, this was a dream species for us we would have had them whether we could breed them or not. You know, we, we really loved them when we found out about them, started to research them and saw pictures of them and videos of them. Um, we wanted some and so we got some and we of course intended to breed them. You know, that's our business. We breed reptiles. We've had no success whatsoever. We've had crushing failures, um, but they seem happy and healthy and we love them and they're great handling animals, um, you know, they're beautiful beyond compare, and we're going to have them with us as long as they live. They're never going anywhere. In fact, we'll probably even get a couple of more, even though we've never had success with them. Um, we just really like them. And uh, that kind of, in a weird way, feels good to know that uh, in our heart of hearts, we really are still just hobbyists. We just love mm -hmm. our reptiles. We want to interact with them, we love feeding them, we love housing them, we just love working with our reptiles, whether they are making us one penny or not. You know, it, the, the love of the reptile itself is kind of completely regardless of whether they successfully help our business grow or not, right? So anyway, just had, had Big Dan out. It was a, a chore to get him out because they are so good at just winding in all of their cage furnishings and it's hard to get them out. But we, we uh, got him out. He eventually just crawled out after trying to get him out for like 15 minutes. He just came out on his own. <laughs> of course, that's how they are. But anyway, I wanted to show him to you guys. He's looking beautiful as always. Um, and I wanted to talk about him and let you know that we're, you know, because I, I know many of you have reached out asking about potentially buying babies from us. Uh, it's, I don't think it's going to happen this year. Um, and 
The only, the only thing that I can think of that could be going wrong, um, when we first got them, they were already about four years old. And um, maybe five, actually. I can't remember. We just got them from a hobbyist. It was not a... It was not a breeder. It was just a guy who had had a couple of reptiles and he was moving, I think, to Europe or something and couldn't take them with him. So we bought them from him. They were absolutely tiny. Uh, I do not believe that he was intentionally underfeeding them. I think it was just a lack of understanding of their needs. Uh, but they were so small. And I think there's a possibility, at least, that the female, specifically, being undernourished for the first five years of her life was enough to maybe cause her some fertility problems. That's all I can think of. Um, that is a, a known occurrence in some other species. So that's the only thing I can think of. Maybe she was so underfed for so long that it could cause some fertility problems. And now, even though she's big and strong and, and gets plenty of food, it's maybe too late. She might just not be able to have babies. Um, and if that's the case, she'll just be our, our beloved pet. Uh, and that's completely fine. We aren't bitter in the slightest. But if that is the case, we're going to want to get some more because we do want to breed these in the future. Um, regardless, that's just you know a thought I've had on what might be going wrong. Uh, of course, it always is helpful to also check yourself as the keeper, you know, it might, is there anything I'm doing wrong? Could I, could I possibly improve something that might be able to, um, help with this? But, um, for now, that's kind of what we're thinking. And, uh, if any of you have any ideas, by the way, as you know, I'm always open to hearing your ideas, whether they're crazy or, <laughs> or anything else, because, you know, we've not found a solution. Um, but anyway, that is all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this update on Big Dan, our Dominican Red Mountain Boa male. Until next time, we are the Reptile Barn.